Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. I would like to introduce you to Debbie Williams. Um, she's the founder and CEO of Ask Debbie about hair and health, a health and wellness business that aims to help people um, with hair loss problems. Now, Debbie has been using lead quizzes to generate leads and sales for her business, and some of the results she has gotten over a very short period of time has been mind blowing. And I just want to sit down and have a quick chat with Debbie to understand, you know, what her quiz funnel strategy looks like and how she's um, what she's been doing with lead quizzes to, um, to grow her list. Um, you're welcome, Debbie. It's really nice to have you on the call. Thank you for joining me. Hi, hi. Thanks for having me on the call today. I appreciate it. I've actually I've loved quiz. I love quizzes. I, I um, it stimulates the brain. Um, I use it in my business because it, it stimulates the brain of the customer. It allows us to see what they really want because I could think, hmm, my customer needs this, but I need to know for sure from the customer. So what better way is to put an interactive and engaging quiz out there and let them answer the questions because most of the time when a customer is coming to your site, we all have online businesses because we're selling something in most instances. Right. But most of the time when they get to your site, they really don't know what they want. So a quiz will help you figure out what they want and then tell them, hey, based off of your quiz results, this is exactly what you want and send them a link to purchase it. So that's how we've utilized it and, and it has worked very well. All right, all right. So basically what kind of triggered building a quiz funnel was the fact that you know you can use it to segment your audience and based on that understand their needs better and then you can you know send them tailored messages based off you know just segmentation okay um so for, for the quiz you currently have running how healthy is your hair um, take this quiz to find out can you tell me how you went about creating that quiz um well because i'm i'm a nutritionist i'm a hair loss practitioner um, I know about hair, skin, and scalp. And when someone is experiencing a scalp problem or hair loss or thinning, they are, they are so clueless in a sense. They, they really want help so bad. They just don't know what to do. So when I put the quiz together, I basically put, I added more health and wellness questions in there because our hair loss and our scalp problems, 95% of it, it is an internal problem. It's not an external problem. Unfortunately, most people are buying ocean potions and creams to try to fix these issues. So I ask health questions because that can direct me like, how's your diet? You know, how much water are you drinking? Um, you know, just different things like that. Is there any health issues within the family? Because those types of questions help me say, okay, based off of your answers, you may need my aloe vera shampoo and conditioner. You may need a product for oily scalp. You may need a product for itchy scalp just based off of it. So it, you know, when we, when we, when you put it together, I put it together based off of like my own experience. If I was the consumer, what, what kind of questions would I need answered if I was experiencing hair loss? Mm -hmm. And then I more or less asked my followers, you know, on Facebook or Instagram, I'll ask questions. And based off of that, that's how we know what to put into the quiz. And one thing, people send me emails telling me what they want. So okay. that helps me too, to segment that into a quiz um, you know, in regards to, well, I get a lot of people saying they have itchy scalp, what do they do? So now I know how to add those types of questions into the quiz. But the whole purpose of a quiz is really to get to know your customer, get to know what they want, because exactly. as long as you get to know them, you'll have them for life. Yes, exactly. I mean, you kind of use your own experience plus you know, the questions to ask your customers, you know, what they need to formulate the quiz. And from what I can see, you have um, 14 questions. And what I love about this is that your questions are very short and the answer options are also short. You know, So when I'm taking the quiz, it gives me that momentum. You know, And in one minute, I can finish taking the quiz. And um, for the results, I can see based off the way they answer the questions, they're divided into one of six buckets or six mm -hmm. segmentations. OK, that's great. Now for the results, how did you go about creating it? I can see you have, um, you have, let's say you have a dry hair and a scalp. Okay, so you, you give them the results. You also give them a recommendation. Okay, health regime. And also I can see a hair mineral analysis. Can you just yes. walk, walk us through this result page? Okay, so the result page is great because 
based off of their answers it, and, and based off of how they answer, it, it'll come back and say, okay, this customer has a dry scalp. Um, not only does this customer have a dry scalp, but this customer is also um, not eating as well because we ask food questions in there too. And then that lets me know, so she's not eating well, she has a dry scalp, uh, maybe she's experiencing fatigue, all of the different things that says this is more than just a dry scalp issue. So then the hair mineral analysis, how that's segmenting it, it's a service that I provide. So your hair, Elvis, it tells the story of your life. A sample of hair tells about all of your minerals. I can see whether you're nutritionally deficient. I can see whether there's an issue with your thyroid. I can see whether you're dealing with stress, all of that from hair. And not specifically, I can see it, but I'm not the tester. I work with a doctor out in Texas and I send him the samples of your hair. His lab, which is one of the best in the country, he analyzes that. So hair is a, it's a piece of forensic and your hair, which, which is on our head that you and I can see, feel, feel and touch is dead, but hair is a living cell inside of your body. So when your hair starts to grow out of the follicle, as soon as it comes out of the follicle, out of your scalp, it dies, but it still has all of your minerals because all of your minerals actually gets attached to the hair as it's growing internally outside of the body. So when we take some samples of it, now we can see what's going on. So if it shows that you have lots of hair, like lots of health issues within that quiz, then I'm going to recommend a hair mineral analysis so that we can take this a step further. Instead of just offering you some topical hair products, let's go deeper into your health, where now we're going to help you help your body to recover naturally. That's really great, Debbie. I mean, you, you went all the way to delve into the issue they're having, and you also provided solution and resources and further steps, you know, yes. into getting that solution. Yeah, that's the way to go. Good work. All right. Now, um, for your quiz, I can see that you have about 2,700 responses and um, 1,270 contacts, leads generated. All, all organic. I, I haven't paid for any advertisement for any of those. So when you mean organic, Debbie, you know, do, do you have the quiz embedded on a page on your website? Are you just sending, okay? So, so when I mean organic, I mean, basically, I'm not paying for any Facebook ads. I'm not paying for any Google ads. The health quiz is on the homepage of, and I always feel a quiz should be on the homepage. homepage. As someone is scrolling down, they'll see that you know, how healthy is your hair? And they're like, hmm, yeah, how healthy is my hair? You know, I don't really know. So it's intriguing. It, it has them wondering what, what she's going to tell me here. Um, and so that's why we have it there on the homepage. And it's, it, it does well, but I will tell you that because we're getting ready to get into the end of the year, fourth quarter, where there's Black Friday and so many other things going on, we are going to add it into a Google campaign. Okay. Um, so that we can actually get more people into our funnel to learn what they need. So where I'm, even though it's been um, organically put into my website where I haven't paid for any ads, so the, the amount of people that you just mentioned all found that on their own. Hmm. So, but we are about to start to do some Google advertising and some Facebook advertising where we're going to add the quiz onto a Facebook ad, you know, how healthy is your hair? We may even change the title around to make it so more interesting that more people is going to want to know, what is this? I need to find out more. <laughs> all right. All right. Good work, Debbie. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, so one question I have is, so I take the quiz, I get my results. Is there like a back end follow-up automation that is set up? Yes. Okay. So you take, you take the quiz. You get your results. Now you're added into a funnel. You're added into a specific funnel. So you will periodically get emails. For now, you're into my email sequence. Um, and who we use, what we use a company that, that we sequence out our emails. And now you are a part of my entire system. I, I have you there. I'm not going to bombard you with a, a lot of emails. But if there is a topic that we're discussing and you became one of the candidates that you're in my um, itchy scalp campaign or my itchy yeah. scalp funnel. Whenever we're sending out something about itchy scalp, now you're there. So it has helped me grow. We have grown our list from just this quiz. I can't even explain how, because what you see there is just the people who have taken the quiz. But yeah. imagine they've taken the quiz and now I've taken them from just the quiz 
to you are a part of my campaigns to where um, you are a lifetime customer. And a lot of it has actually come from the quizzes, a lot of it. That's great. I don't know, do you have any statistics on, let's say, you know, conversions, sales conversions from the quizzes? I, any of that? I don't have it. Um, my assistant, she needs to be on this call because they are the team. My team stands behind me. I'm not the behind the scenes girl. I'll tell them, hey, this is what I want to do. And they'll take care of everything. So, yeah, I don't have any of the stats in front of me right now, but the conversion rate is no really worries. good. No worries. Um, it, no, okay. I, I can send you an email later on before we prepare this. You know, if you could send me some of those stats. Got it. So, so, so I'll say, yes, I'll get you some of our conversions so you can share that. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. Now, Debbie, is there something else you'd like to add to this? Is there anything else? This was amazing. Um, I would say that Lead Quiz is something that I recommend for all businesses. I mean, small businesses use them, large businesses use them. It's a way to really get to know your customer. And if you really want to expand your business and, and you really want to scale your business, then having this type of service on your, on your site is, is a phenomenal way to really, really deep dive and get to know what your customer wants. Because if you want to stay in business, you got to give them what they want, not what you want them to have. You got to give them what they want. So lead, lead quiz is just a phenomenal way to help them in every way they need their help. My guess that they have one more question. What would you say is the key to your success so far using lead quizzes? Would it be the research you did before you created the quizzes? Would it be the team you have behind you, the product itself? What is the number one key to the success you've gotten so far? I think the number one key, and this is just being transparent, um, I am the face of this business. And most people... You, I, you know, I have a huge following on all social media channels and it's just being transparent and real. Um, you know, people can see through phony and fake and people can see when you're just trying to sell them products and that you don't care about them. You just like buy my products. Yes. But and most people know that's not me because I'll tell a person in a minute, don't buy this because I don't think this is going to help you, yeah. you know. Um, so I just think being transparent and being real and, and really a part of your business you have people that they'll start a business but then they're not running it they, they have other people running it so and then they're trying to figure out oh, why isn't my business succeeding well because you got to put your foot in there you got to get in there yourself and and you know you gotta get your hands dirty you got to get in there and work this business and i do i work my business um but i also I'm, i don't work i mean i make sure that i stop working at a certain time of the day I don't work on the weekends. I make sure I spend time with my family. You know, I don't overwork it, but I, I work it enough. So the key to me is being transparent and really just fulfilling a need. Um, you know, there's, you have to fulfill a need. Hair loss, it's a big, big problem. It's an epidemic. And I decided that was going to be my niche. I was going to focus on with people with hair loss. Well, I, I have a background of, I started out over 25 years ago, I started out as a hairstylist. And then I took myself from a hairstylist to becoming a practitioner because when someone sat in my chair and I would say, I'm seeing hair loss, go to a doctor, they weren't getting the right results. So I decided, okay, let me do this. And even me developing my hair care product, everything you see on my screen, I developed it. Why? Because I knew that there's certain things that the hair needed that they weren't getting from a lot of these over-the-counter products. So I put myself into it. That's why I say transparency because my business is where it is. It has, I have over a million followers on different social channels from just being transparent. And then many times when I post, I don't even talk about my products. So that's why I'm saying a lot of it has just been organic. From all I've heard from you now, it seems you really understand your target markets, your, your, your customers, and based on that, you're providing them with what they need. Really yes. good job, Debbie. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Let me just stop the recording in a second.